<clears throat> just to repeat a few basic instructions. Follow Hatha Yoga instructions diligently with awareness, without aggression. If there is any sharp pain or if you're uncomfortable, dizziness at any point in time, feel free to stop. Um, <clears throat> diligently following means not um, stopping short. If you can, um, let's say I say raise your arm and fingers reaching for the ceiling. Let's say that's the instruction. You see if you can reach however much you can without uh, aggression. Diligently without aggression. So that's the important thing. And uh, <clears throat> diligence with awareness as in full attention to what is happening on the mat. To follow the instruction. It doesn't matter um, what others are doing. Manjit and Vinay might be able to do certain way to a certain extent. They are there, thankfully, to give you a hint as to what the instruction is, if in case I am not clear. And that is the most important thing that you can get from the video feeds. Otherwise, simply follow the instructions diligently. Any comfortable seated posture. Find comfortably erect, eyes softly closed. Palms facing up, fingers relaxed. Back of the hands on your thighs and knees. Your elbows are closer to the body, hanging loose, upper arms loose, not held up or held straight. And you watch the breath. Start with three deep breaths. As you exhale, relax the shoulders. Let us get oriented inward. The practice is attention inward. And we use Hatha Yoga instructions to help us pay attention inward. When I say inward, however your body feels. However your breath feels. Whatever emotionally, however you feel. And this is what I mean by inward attention. We don't have any particular goal of an experience. But the practice is to watch whatever the experience. Another three deep breaths. Namaskarandra. Tilt your head forward. Open your eyes. Inhaling. Arms by the side, palms going up. Exhaling. 
Palms coming down, looking down. Inhaling, looking up. Exhaling, looking down. Inhaling, arms up. Exhaling, arms down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up, stretching the throat just a bit. Exhaling down, stretching the back of the neck just a bit. And one more round. Inhale up. Exhale down. Release. Let's approach a few lateral bends and twists today. Lie down on your back. <clears throat> Hugging the knees, rock back and forth. And side to side. Settle back down and release the legs. Right leg up. Relax your back but keep the right leg up as much as you can. If the back is strained, you can bend the knees. Otherwise, see if you can keep the knee straight. Three, two, one. Slowly release the right leg down. Slowly release the right leg down. And as you release the right leg down, see your entire body responding to the slow descent of your right leg down. Left leg up. Keeping the knee straight if you can, but if your back is strained, slightly bend the knees. Three, two, one. Slowly release the left leg down to the ground. Take a deep breath, exhale. Yeah, you can keep your arms close to the body. Arms facing down. Right leg up. Lower your leg halfway down, 45 degree. Three, two, one. Slowly release the leg down to the ground. Left leg all the way up. Lower your leg halfway down and hold the leg. Three. Continue to breathe. Two. One. Slowly release the left leg down to the ground. Three deep breaths. Both legs up. Halfway down. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release all the way down. Take a deep breath, exhale. Turn on to your left side. Use your left arm as a pillow. You can place the right palm by the side of the chest on the mat. Um, your forearm is uh, straight, palm by the side of the chest, comfortably resting. Right leg up. Three, two, one. Slowly release the leg down to the ground. Your toes are still pointing to your left wall as you raise your leg. 
second round lift your right leg up pointing your toes toward your left wall five four three two one slowly release the right leg down to the ground take a deep breath exhale both legs up as much as you can five four three two one slowly release the legs down to the ground switch to the other side lying down on your right side use your right arm as a pillow lifting your left leg up left toes pointing toward your right wall five four three two one slowly release the leg down to the ground second round lifting your left leg up as much as you can five four three two one slowly release the left leg down to the ground take a deep breath exhale lift both legs up as much as you can even inches off the ground is still fine lifting as much as you can continue to breathe five four three two one and release lie down on your stomach feet close together toes pointing to the back palms by the side of the chest chin down on the ground inhaling bhujangasana exhaling down inhaling bhujangasana exhaling down inhaling bhujangasana next exhalation adho mukha shvanasana settle down in adho mukha shvanasana palms pressing fingers pressing you can be on the toes knees can be even slightly bent see if you can gently bring your upper body and arms in alignment <clears throat> with your knees slightly bent and abdomen slightly engaged see if you can straighten up the spine just a bit five four three two one inhaling right foot forward between the palms ashra sanchalana <clears throat> allow the left hip to relax just a bit with the next exhalation 3 2 one right foot back plank adho mukha next inhalation left foot forward between the palms ashra sanchalana allow the right hip relax downward just a bit 3 2 1 look down next exhalation right foot forward uttanasana hands on your waist inhale come up release your arms stand relaxed whether we pause between the postures or we are in the postures inward orientation and attention 
not to run away from anything, not to run toward anything. Just as it happens. And whatever that happens. 3D breaths. Front of the mat, Tadasana. Namaskar. Three rounds of Sri Namaskara begin. attention to just this breath and just this posture. Completing three rounds, stand relaxed, feet comfortably apart. Allow the breath to normalize on its own. Three D breaths. Arthakati chakra variations. Let's begin with the feet hip width apart. Tadasana posture with feet apart. Right arm up, reach up, 
and bend toward your left side, moving your right hip toward the right wall. Your right fingers are pointing toward the left. Bring your arm just above your ear or even behind your ear and then turn your head and look up at the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, up, exhaling, release. Left arm up. Reach up. Inhale, exhaling, Artakati on the other side. Your left arm is at your ear or slightly behind the ear. The right finger is reaching for the ground. Left hip going toward the left wall. Left fingers reaching for the right wall. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling up, exhaling release. Take a deep breath, exhale. Feet close together. Tadasana. Right arm up. Reach for the ceiling. Artakati. Bending toward your left side. Right hip going toward the right wall. Look up at the ceiling. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, inhale up, exhale, release. Take a deep breath, exhale. Left arm up, reach for the seal. Inhale, exhaling, Artakati Chakra. Right fingers reaching for the ground, left hip going toward the left wall. Left fingers reaching for the right wall. Look up at the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling up, exhaling, release. Take a deep breath, exhale. Feet hip width apart. Arms, bring up your arms, shoulder height, parallel to the ground. Palms facing down. Hugging yourself. Right arm over the left, hug yourself. Inhale, exhaling, twist toward your left side. Five, as much as you can, look over the left shoulder. Four, corner of your eyes, look at as much toward the corner of your eyes. Three, two, one, inhale center. Arms up, take a deep breath, exhale. Left arm over your right, hug yourself. Inhale, exhaling, twist toward your right side. And look over the corner of your right eye, both eyes toward the right corner, looking over your right shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling center, exhaling, release the arms. Close your eyes. Relax.
gently open your eyes. Take a deep breath, exhale. Separate your feet, broad stance, three feet or more, broad stance. Toes pointing toward the front. Palms on the sides of your thighs. Relax the shoulders. Right arm up. Reach for the ceiling. Exhaling, Arthakati, bending toward the left side. Your upper arm is at the ear level. And you are looking at the ceiling with your arm behind your ear. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Inhaling up, exhaling, release. Take a deep breath, exhale. Left arm up. Reach up, inhale. Exhaling, Arthakati variation. Your left hip gently moves toward the left wall. And feel the posture on the inner thighs as you make that subtle movement. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling up, exhaling, release. Take a deep breath, exhale. Hands on your waist. Jane, this, uh, I'm feeling the like. Uh... Uh, stretch in this area instead yes. of is that okay? Perfectly okay. <laughs> Perfectly okay. Um, see, we all find different edges, and that is why it doesn't matter what others are doing. We all have different edges, and we we might have different edges in the morning, in different edges in the evening. Um, so we are not like some static things um, at all. We are very dynamic. We're always flowing. Um, there is a beautiful quote. You never enter a river. You, you never enter the same river twice. You enter the river and you get out of the river and the river is flowing. And so you cannot enter the same river again. Nor are you the same person when you're entering the river as you were before the first time you entered. Everything is changing. And so if you're feeling the posture uh, in one place now, maybe when you practice tomorrow, you might feel it differently. But we practice and we note um, again, as I said, we are not looking for a particular experience. We are confident that these instructions are tested over millennia. And we use these instructions to do no harm, but to help us pay attention. 3D breaths. <clears throat> right uh, arm behind your back, right arm behind your back, wrap around. Left palm just placed on the right shoulder in front, palm pressed on the palm kind of in front of the chest. You can place the palm on in front between the chest and the shoulder gently. Inhale, exhaling, twisting toward your right side. Bring your arm, right arm close to your body. And your left palm encourages your right shoulder to keep rotating back. Gently and look over your right shoulder. Looking through the corner of your right eye. Five. 
four, three, two, one. Inhaling center. Release the arms. Take a deep breath, exhale. Hands on your waist. Left arm behind you. As much as possible, keep the back arm close to the body, even as you twist, or even after you twist, make micro adjustments to keep the back arm close to the body. Right palm on the top, right, left chest, and left shoulder. Inhale, exhaling, twist toward your left side. Your right palm gently encourages, no aggression, gently encourages the left shoulder to keep twisting back. And now adjust your back arm, bring it close to the body. And look over your left shoulder through the corner of your eyes. Five, four, three, two, one, inhaling, come to center. Exhaling, release the arms, bring your feet comfortably closer, stand relaxed. Take a deep breath, exhale. Now we, we did twist from upright posture. Now we're gonna twist from halfway bent posture. Separate your feet three feet apart. Toes pointing toward the front. Hands on your waist. Get your thumbs to touch each other on the back. A gentle back bend. Making sure your chest bone, the middle part of the chest, rises up just a bit. And you can even keep your chin tucked in and look up at the ceiling. Those who are comfortable, drop your head in the back if you're not feeling dizzy. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, come up. Release arms. Take a deep breath, exhale. Hands on your waist. Inhale. Exhaling, bending halfway forward, look to the front. Looking to the front, you can slightly bend the knee if you need to, to bring the upper body parallel to the ground and flatten the back. The upper, the spine is as if you're standing straight, looking to the front. Now, stretch your arms to the front, aligned to the spine. Arms and the spine are parallel to the body. You can slightly bend the knees, not a problem. Look at your thumbs and have the thumbs go away from you. Now, without tipping to the front, bring your seat bones toward the back wall so your feet carries evenly distributed weight. Five, four, three, two, one. Next exhalation, middle fingers touching the ground away from your feet in the front. Middle fingers barely touching. You can bend the knees enough, not a problem at all. Head down. Five, four, three, Two, one. Bend your knees further if you need to, to place the palms right underneath the heart on the mat. Both palms next to each other. Or in fact, place your left palm over the right palm on the mat. Left palm over the right palm. Both palms are on flat. You can bend the knees, not a problem. Left hand to the left hip. Look toward the left wall and rotate your left shoulder up 
and bring both shoulders in one line, vertical line. And then left arm up. Left palm facing the left wall. Now rotate your head further and looking at your left thumb. You're not putting too much weight on the right palm. Right palm is just gently there. Now left fingers reaching for the ceiling. As you open up your chest toward the left wall, twisting as much as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. And gently exhaling, bring the left palm down. Switch your right palm to be on the top of the left palm. Right hand on the right waist. Look toward the right wall and open the right shoulder up and bringing the left shoulder and right shoulder vertical as much as you can. And right arm up toward the ceiling, gazing at your right thumb if you can. Look, turning your head toward the ceiling. Not much weight on the left palm, right fingers reaching for the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, one, right palm bringing down to the mat. Hands on your waist, inhaling, come on. Release the arms, bring your feet comfortably closer, stand relaxed. Three deep breaths. Let us approach a twist from Ashwa. I think we practiced in one of the recent sessions. Front of the mat, Tadasana. Feet close together. Now, Skaramutra. Take a deep breath, exhale. Inhaling, back bend. Exhaling, forward bend. Inhaling, right foot back. Ashwasacharya. Place the right palm firmly on the mat by the side of your left foot. Now bring your left hand on the left waist. Look toward the left wall and rotate your left shoulder up. Left arm up. Now Next exhalation, allow the hips to go down while the fingers are going up. Gaze at your thumb with your arms up. Five, four, three, two, one. Go back to Ashwa. Left foot back, plank. Adhomukha. Inhaling right foot forward between the palms. Place the left palm firmly on the mat, right hand to the right waist. Open up your right shoulder as much as you can. Right arm up. Allowing the exhalations to take the hips downward as the right fingers reach for the ceiling, gazing at your right thumb. Five, four, three, two, one. Ashwasanchalana. Right foot back, flank. 
drop your knees down Vajrasana. Relax the shoulders. Shashankasana, relax. Separating the feet comfortably and allowing the abdomen and chest to go down toward the ground. If your forehead is not reaching the ground, make tight fists and stack tight fists land the forehead and if this posture is not comfortable to relax go back to sukhasana Go back to Vajra. Bharatvajasana <clears throat> variation. From Vajrasana, use your hands on the mat by the sides of your feet. Sitting toward the left side of both feet. Sit on the mat, left side of both feet on the ground. You're sitting down, leave the legs as they are and move your seat bones toward the left side and sit on the mat as much as you can. And then with your sitting on the left side, right arm wrapping behind your back, left hand on the right knee. Twist, gently twist, straightening up the spine, twist. Look over your right shoulder, five. Bharadvajasana, four, three, two, one. Inhale, center, Vajrasana. This would require a little more knee flexibility. See how much you can. If you need a cushion to sit, if you're not able to sit all the way down, sit on a cushion, leaving the feet where they are. Take a deep breath, exhale. With the hands on the mat as help, leave the feet where, where they are and sit on the right side of your feet. Take your seat bones and sit on the mat. And if your feet adjust to this posture, allow the feet to adjust, no aggression. This requires some more or different kind of knee flexibility, so don't force anything, please. Keeping the spine straight, left arm behind you. Right hand on the left knee, twist toward your left side. Look over your left shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, come to center. Vajrasana. Sukhasana. Relax. Three deep breaths. Right arm up 
toward the ceiling. Seed bones, both seed bones are firmly on the mat. Raising the right arm as much as you can, fingers reaching for the ceiling. Look up at the fingers, right fingers. And right fingers reaching for the ceiling. Continue to breathe and continue to reach for the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, one and release. Take a deep and exhale. Left arm up. Reach for the seat. Turn and look at your left fingers and next inhalation reaching for the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Take a deep breath, exhale. Right foot on top, Ardha Padmasana. right heel close to the body as much as you can without any aggression right arm wrapping behind you those who are flexible enough can grab hold of the right big toe with the right hand <clears throat> left hand on the right knee no aggression if you're not able to reach the right big toe, that is okay. But keep the right arm close to the body. Those who are able to catch hold of the big toe, maybe you can even grab the foot um, and have it as a way to allow you to twist more. Inhale. With the left hand on the right knee, gently encouraging your left shoulder to come forward, right shoulder going toward the back wall, twist toward your right side. Looking over the right shoulder, your left shoulder getting gently encouraged by the left hand on the knee to come forward. Looking at your corner of your eyes, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, come to center. Release the legs, release, relax, shake your legs. Sukhasana. Left foot on top, Ardha Padmasana. Left arm behind your back, close to the body. And those who can reach the left big toe or the left foot, left hand grabbing the left foot, if you can. Those who are, com those who are flexible, very flexible, are for everybody and it is okay. It's not needed for the spirit of the posture, which is a twist. Right hand on the left knee, straightening up your spine, encouraging your right shoulder to come forward toward the left knee, right shoulder going backward. Turn your head and look over your left shoulder, finally. Um, Vinay, your right hand on the left knee, left knee, right hand on the left knee, yes, yes, twist, five, four, three, two, one, inhaling center, release the leg, shake your legs.
lie down on your back. Take a deep breath, exhale. Jatara Parivartana posture. Legs together. Arms shoulder height. Palms facing down. Lifting both legs straight up. And those who can gently lower your legs toward your right hand. If you need to bend the knees, otherwise just gently, gently lower your legs all the way to the right hand and look over your left shoulder. Once you reach the final posture, relax. Those who had to bend the knees, not a problem at all. Feel the twist. Five, four, three, two, one. Without aggression, lifting the legs back to the center. If you need to bend the knees, do that. And inhale, exhaling, lower the legs toward your left palm. Keeping both shoulders on the ground. And look over your right shoulder. Jatara Parivartana. Once you reach the final posture, relax. Five, four, three, two, one. Bringing your legs back to center. Inhale. Holding the legs straight. Three, two, one. Slowly lower the legs all the way down to the ground. Slowly. Proceed to Shavasana. Make any final movements. So we can rest in Shavasana without needing to move at all for the next few minutes. Softly closing the eyes, allow the eyeballs to relax. Natural gaze, wherever it settles. Relax the jaws. You can smile. We are alive. And that is sufficient reason to smile. You can smile. Letting go of your body. Settle your awareness on your abdomen, watching the light nourishing breath come and go.
Shavasana and sit up with eyes closed, any meditative posture. Gently take your hands, inhale, exhaling, bending forward, thank you, Mother Earth. Inhaling, come up, rub your palms, gently massage your closed eyes. Blink your eyes open. Namaste. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.